Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Imperial Knights Armager Helverins. The Armager Warglaves uh, are out uh, for pre-order today as well. Uh, same price, £45, that's how much this set of two will cost you. Not too bad when you think about it, what, £22.50 uh, per armager knight um for like a little baby knight that's not too bad i'm not a huge fan of these two to be fair i only mainly got them for the channel and because i've got an imperial knights army um not a huge fan of the muzzle or the actual you know guard or whatever you want to call it uh, i do like the knights themselves uh, and the little weapon and you know everything sort of just shrunk down um but yeah, in terms of the weapons and things, not, not a huge fan, but I'll be looking at the, the rules and things in the new Codex Imperial Knights uh, in a moment and trying to f pick some positives out from them. But uh, you can equip them with a heavy stubber or melter gun as the carapace um, weapon, and then you've got an armager auto cannon, and they've got two of those. So nothing close combat. Um, they're a fast unit anyway. They can whip about the battlefield, um, just pumping round and round uh, out of these. So they're kind of like a quick mobile support platform. Um, probably you could use them to capture points as well, but Personally, I'd rather have the other Warglaves to do that because they they can, you know, attack in close combat uh, decently as well. You get a lot of sprues for your 45 pounds. More sprues than uh, the new big Imperial Knights, which only have three. Um, in these, you get uh, essentially six, all right? Um, well, it's three that are replicated, I want to say. So you get the, the large bases there. Uh, large round bases this is replicated uh, so you get the carapace uh, the exhaust stacks um, and the back small plasma and um, power plant core and the hood for the uh, head there's the head there and the two carapace weapons the stubber and the melter gun so that sprue is replicated um, and then you've got these two which are replicated as well which essentially are the sides of the armor and the shoulders uh, the two feet uh, the torso um, and the the legs as well um, and there's a little bit of something there for the um, melter weapon uh, as well. So that's replicated um, in both of those. So they're the, the legs and the, the feet and things. And then uh, you've got the, the weapons themselves. So you might not have seen this sprue before, um, but this is specifically for the Helverins. Um, 2017, so last year. Uh, so this is the, the Helverin auto cannon, um, quite a long, long weapon. Um, you've got the heads there. Uh, I'm not sure whether you get any different face plates for them, um, but uh, you've also got the shoulder pauldrons and the the other cannon. So you get they're replicated too. So you are getting uh, what one, two, well, th essentially three sprues there. Um, I know that that one's connected and these, these are kind of broken off, but you see where I'm coming from. You essentially get three sprues there and three, three sprues there um, for your 45 pounds. Not too bad. I do prefer the, the uh, war glaives though. I won't be doing uh, an unboxing uh, of those because I kind of did an unboxing in the Forge Bane kit um, like a month or two ago. Uh, but I will be doing a rev review of those with my current ones, um, just to get that review out there, to go through the rules, because I think they, they, they've updated the rules a little bit since um, Forge Bane. Um, but I might get another set of two uh, in the future, but I think four at the moment um, is decent enough. Uh, yes, it does mean that I've got more Imperial Knights than um, these Armagers, but hey, the Armagers are a, a new kit, new model. So uh, let's see what else you get. So you get a little Imperial Knights Armager transfer sheet, which I think you got in the Forge Bane kit. And then you get the instruction guide. So once again, like the other Imperial Knights, uh, full color uh, instruction guide. They go together really easy. The legs are, are brilliant. You can um, you know, change the legs to have slightly different poses look with the right foot forward or the left foot forward. They do slot to the hips in a specific way, which is good for stability. Um, and then that's the, the auto cannon there, the way that you'd put that on. So you put the ring over the, uh, the barrel uh, and so on. And then you don't have to glue the, the arms. You can have them loose if you wish, um, but 
seems to be pretty good. And then there's the rules as well. So you, you, your Armager Auto Cannons are very long range, 60 inches, which is great for something that can move 14 inches. It means it's got an effective range of 74 inches. Heavy 2D3 there. Um, so more often than you're not, you're going to get get four shots of strength seven. AP minus one, which isn't too bad, but damage three is great. And you also ignore the penalty to hit rolls for moving and firing this heavy weapon. Um, so it's going to be uh, firing at this ballistic skill three plus there. If you are lucky and get six shots at strength seven, that's still pretty decent too. Um, it's got the iron shield, but it's just a shootier version. And now, whether you think that's worth the trade-off for the the thermal lance and the um, and the chain cleaver is up to you. Personally, I don't think it is. Uh, but if you're going for an all-out shooty uh, kind of imperial knight army, um, then these are a good choice. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't actually tell you how many points cost they actually are in match play it just gives you the, the power points cost and um, well I can't see that anywhere there so but I will be going through uh, these uh, fully in their review I'll be doing a, a separate review once I have built both of them and um, hopefully I'll try and get that out sometime next week and that's all I really want to say about the uh, Armager Helverins um, thank you ever so much for joining me today thank you for watching the Emperor Protects